everyone, this is Chris Ashley. It is so great to be back with you. Today we're going to be talking about courage and how fear and the reality you see around you is an illusion. So I think that this one will help a lot of people, especially if there's something you're really trying to overcome right now, something you're trying to summon up a little bit of courage for. So let's jump right into it and we start with quantum physics. So there is so much more to this reality than meets the eye literally and figuratively. So the human eye can only see 0.0035% of the light spectrum. Now that means we are unable to see over 99% of what is going on around us. Most of our existence is invisible to us and the majority of the world is hidden from us in plain sight. Now everything in our universe is made of atoms. If you think back to science class from when you were in high school or junior high, you might believe an atom has a physical structure. Quantum physicists, however, realize that atoms are made up of vortices of energy that are constantly spinning and vibrating, and that each tangible thing in our world that's made up of atoms radiates a unique energy signature. So have you ever seen the wind lift up some leaves and make them spin around, kind of like a little mini tornado? To imagine an atom, think of that spinning funnel, but then take away the leaves. What you have left is a spinning vortex of invisible energy. Now, uh, cell biologist Bruce Lipton likes to explain what an atom would look like if it were possible to view it under a microscope. He explains that from far away, it would just look like a blurry sphere. The closer you got to it, the less in focus it would become. And finally, as you reach it, it would completely disappear and you would see nothing. Only a physical void would remain. And again, this is because the atom isn't solid. It's invisible energy that is vibrating and spinning, not something tangible that you can see. So the conclusion we can make, everything is energy in our universe and matter itself is an illusion. Now we all have the potential and the capability to live a big life. A life that we would truly love living, filled with connected, loving relationships, health and vitality, success and abundance, joy and inner peace. Often though, what holds most people back from taking steps towards their dream life is themselves. And more specifically, it's their limiting beliefs and the fears that they stem from. Now, most people only live a fraction of the life that they're capable of, right? They stay small within the confines of their comfort zone, afraid to venture out beyond. But what they fail to realize is that outside of our comfort zone is where our dreams actually materialize. Now, everyone experiences fear, right? Even highly successful people. The difference is that those successful people don't let fear paralyze them. They summon up courage and they take action despite their fear. They do it afraid. Now, anxiety and excitement are two sides of the same coin. It's all about how you interpret them, right? You can use that energy to amp you up or you can use it to break you down. And, you know, when we take a step back and objectively look at our fears, we often realize that most of what we fear isn't actually happening. In that sense, fear can also be seen as an illusion, false evidence appearing real as the acronym goes. So let me put it bluntly. Fear is a story that you've made up about a possible future that hasn't happened yet. Courage, coincidentally, also starts in the mind. It's all about believing you can and taking action steps towards your dreams and goals. And if you do that, you will be amazed at how quickly life rearranges itself around you and doors start to open. It's about taking that leap of faith, right? And stepping outside of your comfort zone, despite any fear or uncertainty that you might be feeling. So have courage, believe in yourself and your capabilities. Don't let fear hold you back. And remember, courage is not the absence of fear but the ability to take action despite it. So I'd like to share one of my all-time favorite quotes. It's by Terrence McKenna, and I read this so often after yoga classes, I actually have it memorized. Um, he said, nature loves courage. 
You make the commitment and nature will respond to that commitment by removing impossible obstacles. Dream the impossible dream and the world will not grind you under, it will lift you up. This is the trick. This is what all these teachers and philosophers who really counted, who really touched the alchemical gold, this is what they understood. This is the shamanic dance in the waterfall. This is how magic is done. By hurling yourself into the abyss and discovering it's a feather bed. How beautiful is that? And that's how the law of attraction works. Now, when we bring all of this back to the idea of facing our dreams, it certainly makes them seem a lot less scary, doesn't it? Reality is an illusion, so you get to make life whatever you want it to be. It's, it's malleable, it's moldable, life is fun. You can make it into a game by calling anything you want into your life using the law of attraction. Essentially, change your mind around what is possible, what you're capable of, and what is really holding you back from becoming the greatest version of you that you can possibly be. You literally have nothing to lose if you try my way, but you have a whole lot to gain, right? The life of your dreams. And beyond that, all of the possibilities of what you can have already exist out there in the quantum field. Every possible choice exists. Everything you can imagine and everything you can too. It's out there, available to you. Nothing is impossible or too far-fetched. You simply have to vibrate at the frequency of the thing you want to call into existence, and you, you have to align with it, right? So quantum physics tells us that within the universe exists an infinite number of overlapping possibilities, and that the versions of our bodies, our lives, our circumstances, and our planet that we see in our day-to-day -day lives only exist because they were chosen from this vast realm of possibilities. Now, each possible future version lays out there in a state of rest until it is chosen. So if you want to change something in your life, you need to consciously choose that new version. And as we imagine what we want our futures to look like, as we use the law of attraction, we can then call that future into existence through the conscious choices that we're making in the present moment. This is how magic is done, like Terence McKenna said. Now, you are allowed to change your mind and reinvent yourself at any point in time. I always think of Cobra Kai. Have you seen that show? There's this character called Hawk, and he was this nerdy kid that got picked on and made fun of all the time. And one episode, he... He gets picked on like normal, and he leaves his karate dojo in a hurry, and you think, like, okay, he's just going home to cry like he has in the past. But the next day, he shows back up at the karate dojo with a blue mohawk and punk rock clothes and this brand new attitude to match it. He changed his mind and reinvented himself, and as a result, he becomes one of the toughest kids in the dojo whom everyone in the valley respects. You know, he changed his reality. So just like Hawk did, you can too. My name is Chris Ashley. Please follow me for more. Like, subscribe, share, do all the things. I really appreciate it. Let's spread some love and courage and all the good vibes out into the world. Follow me on social media. I'm at Change Your Mind with Chris on TikTok and Instagram. Change Your Mind with Chris Ashley on Facebook. Um, I think my podcast and YouTube also. And then uh, my book is out for pre-order. It's called Change Your Mind to Change Your Reality by me, Chris Ashley. It's on Amazon. It's on Barnes & Noble. Head over to changeyourmindtochangeyourreality.com for some more info, and I will see you all next time. Have a beautiful rest of your day.